so first off, Adam Driver and Margot Robbie are reportedly removed from the Fantastic Four project, mostly because of money. Um, Comic Cuts did an amazing vi video breaking all that down. Um, but uh, you guys didn't hear my opinion, so I, I want to get my side of uh, the story, and then Comic Cuts, you can obviously jump in and do do as you do. Um, so I agree with everything that Comic Cuts said about the MCU, like losing his magic. Um, I think that they are going away from what they did before. Right when they casted RDJ, he wasn't the guy when he first got casted. Chris Hemsworth wasn't big. Um, Chris Evans wasn't really that big either. You know, th these these roles made them big. Um, I think that, in my opinion, if you're having trouble, go with John Krasinski. That is that is the guy that you should go with if, if you're having issues. Um, I actually got into a debate with MCM culture. He said that he wasn't a fan of John Krasinski's Mr. Fantastic. And I said to him, how can you be, how can you, how can you say that you're a fan of something that you saw for two minutes with bad writing? You're not even giving the guy a chance to actually show that he's a good Mr. Fantastic. So no one should really have a judgment based on just the terrible writing that we saw. Um, we, we didn't really get to see much. He talked for like two minutes and then he got into a fight and died. Like we didn't see much from him. So um, I think if I'm them, I'm going with John Krasinski. I think he I think he will land the role. I think he's a great actor. He looks like Reed already. Um, yeah, that, that's why. And I think that's maybe what they're leaning more and more towards because I haven't really heard any news moving. The only news that I've heard is that John is like that. John has been sitting there waiting. So. <laughs> Um, and as it regards to Sue Storm, I mean, um, they're thinking about casting that, that chick that was in um, Mission Impossible. Um, I think she'll be great as Sue Storm. I think it'll be Which a one? very uh, – the, the one, one that was on uh, the train or the one with the eye patch? The one I was on train. Okay. So, um, and I think that – and honestly, I mean, she'll be very tall because that, that chick's like six foot, dude. She's pretty tall. Um, so, and if they cast her, they're going to have to – She's tall, dude. She has to be. No, I'm saying tall. you can't, dude. Sue Storm is like noticeably short. Yeah, and, and, and maybe I'm a judge, but I'm pretty sure that that chick was taller than Tom Cruise in uh, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. I don't think Tom Cruise is that tall. He's um, a midget. Yeah, he's short. Uh, let me hold on. I'm about to find her height right now. Vanessa uh, Kirby. I think she'll be. I, I think she'll be a great Sue Storm. Right, let me see her height. Okay, she's five seven. Okay, so oh, may maybe I'm no, tripping. You're... That's who I would go with with a John Krasinski. I think that chemistry would be spot on, in my opinion. Um, even with, uh, you know, Adam Driver would be good, but I think that like for expansion purposes, I think that John Krasinski just has more to give in that Reed Richards role, in my personal opinion. By the um, way, I want to. Sorry, uh, if you weren't. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, so I remember when the first Jack Ryan season came out. And my buddy told me John Krasinski is playing Jack Ryan. And my reaction was like, no way. And he was like, I know it sounds crazy, but he got jacked. He played the part. He did. He killed it. And I was like, you know, I like my friend that told me it is a longtime friend. I trust him. I was like, put on. All right, I'll check it out. I watched Jack Ryan. Complete. Com if you watch Jack Ryan and you never saw The Office, you wouldn't believe John Krasinski played Jim Halpern in the office. So, you know, I listen, and that's the problem with like taking the role of like James Bond and using a character that everyone already knows people typecast in their mind all day. Um, you know, but John Krasinski, he, he carries himself like Reed Richards. He talks like Reed Richards. Well, I know you don't know how Reed Richards actually talks because you're reading it, but like in the voice I have for Reed Richards when I read his comics, like John Krasinski nailed that in uh, the movie. And, you know, with everything going on with the MCU right now, it would be a godsend to get someone like John Krasinski to play Reed Richards. Because, listen, I hate to break it to everyone who, who is doubting Reed, John Krasinski or you know, not sold on the Fantastic Four because you don't read comics or whatever the case may be. Other than Spider-Man, when it comes to characters on MCU and, and Avengers roster, even though the Fantastic Four isn't really Avengers, but Reed Richards is Illuminati. Other than Spider-Man, when it comes to the MCU, Reed Richards is the guy. He is like the number one, okay? 
Um, and, and he's the number one in the Illuminati, not Spider-Man. When it comes to them winning in Secret Wars, that's all Reed Richards. So uh, John Krasinski taking that role would be like saving grace for the MCU right now. Um, and unless they find some up and comer that we don't know, that's like a perfect Reed Richards, which chances are very tough. It's not easy to do something like that. You know, we don't know these actors names, obviously casting directors, know actors names better than we do, but think about it. You have to find an actor who you think could play a type of role that you've never seen them do before. That's not an easy job. So, John Krasinski would be the best choice, and it's not even close. 